In this video, we will be discussing the various options for determining the proper product ID when ordering a bottle. Here's Brian to discuss those options. Thanks, Chad. Those options are going to be in a series of numbers. Typically, there are four series of numbers when ordering a bottle. The first series of numbers are for the style of bottle, the second series is for the switch and the transmitter, the third would be for the color, and the fourth is going to be for the mounting option. When determining the first field in the product ID for a bollard, you need to choose the bollard type. These range from a 608 series, which is our standard bollard, which is a five inch by five inch square. You have a 514 series bollard, which is a more narrow style for use in areas where you can't really fit a standard bollard post. And then you have the 628 series, which is a dual switch bollard that has switches at the top and at the bottom. All of our 608, 628 posts come with a polycarbonate cap. The second field of the product ID code is for the switch, transmitter, and prep option. Omitting this field would order a blank bollard. The J is for a single gain cutout for a third party hardware. The R is for a recess prepped for your actuator switch. Typically our customers will order a actuator switch with the post. We have many different options of switches that can go in the R series. We have a 59 series 4x4 switch that will mount directly into the post. If you want to make these a wireless option by adding a transmitter, you would add the letter T in this field. Uh, if you want to do a sequencing transmitter option, you would add the letter S. And if you want to make it a vestibule type of operation, you could add the letter V. Our third field for the product ID is going to describe the color of the baller. All of our bollards come in four different colors. We have BR for bronze, BL for black, WH for white, GR for gray. The fourth field for the product ID is going to determine your mounting options. The 42 would be a standard surface mount where you would have a U-bracket that would mount down to an existing concrete slab. The 58 designates that you're going to have a new concrete pour or an in-ground type mounting where you're going to put part of the flange of that shoe down into the ground or down into concrete and anchor it that way. The SE is going to describe a surface exterior option where you've got a welded plate on the bottom of the bollard that's going to sit directly down onto a concrete slab and you would put lag bolts down on the outside of the post. All of our surface mounted bollards are included with a rust shield to help from corrosion and rust. Now that we've discussed the different elements of the product ID, you can see there are a multitude of different options available. Let's take a minute to show an example of how to build one of the more common bollards. If you chose to use a 608 series, you would put 608 in the first element. The second field would contain the type of switch. We're gonna use a 59 HSS, so we would show HSS in that second field. Third field would be our color. We're gonna choose a gray by using GR. And the fourth field would be standard surface mount option, so we would put a 42. This would be the type of bollard you would come up with. With all of the different product fields available, there are literally limitless options to the type of bollards you can create. For more information regarding this product, please feel free to contact us at the number or the email listed below.